morning and welcome to this episode of Superior Angling. Today we are going to uh, be jigging for some lake trout out on Lake Superior. We have Ethan from Lake Superior Jigging Guide Service with us in the boat. He does a lot of guide trips out of the Two Harbors North Shore area. You know, all he does is, is jig for lake trout. So him and I are teaming up today and uh, we're going to see what we can put together in terms of, uh, you know, getting some, getting some bays vertical down on on Lake Trout. Really looking forward to today. Um, Ethan's got his live scope set up here in the Lund, which is a pretty, uh, pretty incredible, incredible technology and pretty crazy. Uh, <laughs> a lot of screens, a lot of information going on, but uh, that's what helps make him super, super successful. So um, yeah, we'll, we'll let him talk a little bit more about that and how he has it configured and set up and everything. But yeah, with uh, you know the experience in the boat and the technology, hopefully we can uh, put some good fish in the boat here today. So we're gonna idle around here, do some auto charting, um, try to see where some fish are located. Um, you know, it's all about just driving around and trying to find those fish, you know, graphing them instead of, uh, you know, just fishing blind. So it, it just pays to, you know, take 10 minutes, take a half hour just to drive around until you see those fish and then drop baits down on them. So, um, yeah, we, uh, we're, we're out here and uh, let's idle around and see what we can find. Stick with us. It's going to be a good one. All right, so we're searching for fish right now. We got a two live scope set up here. We got LVS 62 transducers. We got, and here's fish right here. We got two 62s, one pointed that way and one pointed ahead of us. And we got four fish right ahead of the boat here. So we see about six fish right here sitting off this edge in about 100 feet, 100 feet down. So we'll see if we can get one of these guys to go here soon. So with this live scope, we're able to look ahead of the boat or wherever we want to point and we can see the fish and see the distance that they are out and down. There we go, Ethan. There's a fish. I didn't even get to bottom. I didn't even get to bottom, man. Not a bad one, hey? Oh, that's cool. That is so cool seeing that fish down there. About ten, about a minute ago, Ethan told me to cast out there 40 feet. Sure enough, he did, and it's fish on. It's a nice fish. <laughs> there he goes. <laughs> there he goes. First one of the morning. And that fish right there, like 100% be caught it because of the, of the of the live scope. No doubt in my mind. Look at that, that's a beautiful, beautiful first lake trout of the morning. Right there, wow. Magical, man, absolutely magical. Cool. The assist goes to the live scope on telling us where to cast. Wow. Yeah, that fish was uh, fired up. My bait didn't even make it. Like, I bet I was only down there 20, 30 feet. Just saw my line stop, and I'm like, well, that's a fish. Awesome. Gorgeous. I don't know. Six, seven pounder. Yeah. Got a lamprey mark on her cheek there. That's cool. That's a good start to the morning. There's a lot of fish around. This is going to be fun. There she goes. 20 fish all between 50 and 120 feet straight off the bow. Hooked up on another one here. About 30 feet down. Should be able to see them any time now. That's my first one of the morning. Nice Lake Superior Lake Trout. 
main hooks all the way through the beak. You can see there, grabbed it good and back she goes. Get another one. Hooked up on what might be our first better fish of the day. Cast it out about 100 feet on the live scope. You could see two sitting down about 100 feet of water. I love that clear water. Lake Superior Lake Trout. Oh, I got one chasing hard. Oh, we got another fish boat side here, and Joe has one too, doubled up. Pitching tubes in about 50 feet of water. on a solid fish here. We got a glimpse of it. Thinking it's maybe around that 20 pound range. Got him up, got a glimpse of him and he headed right back down to bottom. Jigging tubes, casted it out. Actually didn't even have to reel. It hit it on the way down. Feels like a really solid fish. He's giving me a run for my money on the, on the St. Croix 7.6 here. That's a gorgeous one there. Holy moly. That's a little bigger than we even thought. <laughs> That's a look beautiful white tips on the fins, big old tail on it, big noggin. Beautiful fish. Can't be fair. There she is. What a fish. Gorgeous. Side. 50 feet, yeah, two 40 feet, yeah. two of them. Three of them. Three of them. It's like with this live scope, like we know exactly where to cast. I can see my bait going down. Oh, you're gonna hit them that right should be a good cast, man. Oh, yeah. You're gonna hit them right in the nose. The bottom one looks Might be able to. Oh, yeah. So instead of just blind casting, you know. Oh, start reeling. Is he coming up? Oh, yeah. He's come oh, yeah. Reel it. Got him. There we go. Got him. That's just a cheat code, man. It's like <laughs> you see these fish on the live scope and you know exactly where to cast and how like, far to cast. And what they're doing. And you can see how they react to your bait, right? Like, yeah, it's pretty good that's fish, so too. Cool, man. You got your setup just dialed in. Yeah. Here. Especially, like, Ethan's got his front and back kind of covered and then his left and right covered, and you can see where these fish are, and it's just. Your system you have here is just dialed. Look at that big one. Yep, there. another one over there. 80 feet. I think that's big fish that you got. Yeah, it feels good, man. It feels good. I'm thinking. Just steady 20. pressure. That's just magic. It's absolute magic. You know, we fish these reefs like without this, and you know, you can find the structure and you see them, you know, on your 2D sonar, but you know, by the time you're right over them, these fish move so fast and you're just kind of blind casting all around. It's just, it just adds. Oh yeah, it's a good fish. Just adds sight and visibility into, into how you fish and you can just be that much more efficient. You know, instead of making 10 casts from one fish, you're making one or two casts for, for one fish. Wow, is that cool. That's a big fish. He's got a lamprey on him. Oh yeah, let me get that out of the water. Care if I pull him right away? No, that's a good fish, beauty. Yeah, it's good. Try to get that lamprey off him. You no, know, you just flip him in the boat so I get the lamprey. Yeah, let's bring him in. That's a big fish. Keepers. 
Oh, lamprey might have escaped. Yes, he did escape. Look at that white trout. That there's a big, big, big trout. To catch that on a jigging rod is just next level. I mean, that's a, that's a you know, pushing 20 pound fish, heavy fish. Heavy fish, so much fun just to see that guy in the live scope come and eat your bait. It's just, you know, mind blowing. That's cool, let's get this one back. It's fun when it's so calm like this, you can just see them release so far down. She's ready to go, look at that. What a fish, man, look at that, look at her swim. That is so cool, so cool. Wow. <laughs> Magical out here, Magical. To see those fish, you know, 100 feet down on live scopes, cast your jig to it, see your jig fall through the water column, see that fish in real time turn, swim up to you, you know to reel away from it and hit. I mean, it's boom, crazy. It's kind of oh, swimming. this one's gonna eat. This one's gonna you got eat. a charger? There, oh, <laughs> I saw that, buddy. <laughs> There's some fish down there. There he is. See that? Barely yeah, twitching it. Barely twitching it. That's cool. Nice work. It's got some weight to it. Oh, yeah. It's a decent fish. Yeah, it's heavy. Is it? Yeah. He's a heavy fish. Good. Good. Good shoulders. Well, Missed it that one time and then hit it the next. Oh, that's a chunky one short but it is fat look at that girth that is a fat fish wow that's that's a fat fish there this one just came out of 100 feet on the tube pull that tube out yet all right, that's a fat, girthy Lake Superior Lake Trout. All right, let's get this big girl back. Gone she goes. So we're gonna drop down here on these fish. We got fish 40 feet that way on the live scope, about 80 feet down. We're gonna take our jig, pitch it over here, hit the water over there. Now we'll come over here and see our jig hit the water right there and it's coming down to the fish that are all right here. Here's the bait coming down still. Fish coming up. Dude, that's crazy. He's got to have it. Yep, got him. <laughs> it's a good, good fish, too. Yeah, that's good. St. Croix all over them. That's how it's done. Just watching them on the live scope and pitching right to them. Uh, we're using a six inch, two ounce, six inch and a white with a white flash on the inside. This is a big fish. It's big. It'll be probably 38, 39 of them. Here he is. All right, I got the net, buddy. What are we looking at? Can't tell exactly yet, but we're getting close. That's a big trout. That's Holy big trout. cow, buddy. Oh my gosh. That is massive. That's absolutely massive. Look at this fish. Woo-wee. Look at that thing, dude. Eat them. 
You think it's a horse? <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Buddy. <laughs> Give me some. 40 pounder. And we watch that thing eat live and on the got, Garmin Live Scope. And we got three more down there. I mean, it's just. It absolutely blows your mind just seeing that technology and knowing where to cast, how far to cast, how far to let your bait drop, and when to start reeling to get these fish to bite. Like, that's an absolute horse. I mean, that's a fish of lifetime for that's quite a, a few people. Fish. Right? I mean, that's just incredible. Let's, uh, and again, these fish are very old, very special. You know, we net the fish, we keep it in the water. I don't like to lift these fish into the boat with the net because it tears their fins. So we use a very big oversized net, just a net. I mean, it kind of acts like a live well where this fish can kind of swim around. It's not going to tear its fins. We can lift the fish into the boat with our hands, one hand around the tail, one under the belly, you know, and unhook it, get a quick picture, send it back. And these fish are going to, going to live on, right? Like these are old special fish that are 20, 30, 35, 40 years old. So. Let's take a look at her. Nice job, buddy. Wow, what a fish. Probably around 38, 39 inches and 20 pounds. We're gonna let her go to live another day. He is good to go back home. That's how you do it. There he is. That's a big fish. That's a big fish. Heavy fish. It's a fun time of year, you know, that water starts to warm up and these fish just come alive out here. Really fun time of year. You know, so often we catch trout like this on big bondy baits and bigger tubes and stuff like that, but you have to use musky rods. Using smaller tubes like we are, like ounce, ounce and a half, two ounce on these spinning rods. Like it's, it's next level fun. Like you get your butt kicked. And there she is. Gorgeous, gorgeous fish. Truly just unbelievable. I mean, it's, I don't know, there's really nothing that, that compares in, in fresh water, to, you know, to, to catching fish like that. Just the fun, the excitement, the sore arms. Wow, let's take a look at her. There we go, that's a tank. Solid, upper, upper teens, maybe pushing 20 pounds. Heavy fish. Ice cold, let's look at the girth on these things. They are just dinosaurs. Absolute dinosaurs. Let's get her back and catch another one. It's so nice and water's a little bit cooler like this. Again, it's that time of year where you know water temps are anywhere from like 40 to, to 50. So it's that kind of that first warm warm up of, of the year um, and everything just kind of comes alive, right? Like all your bait fish start to move around, pushing shallower and the whole kind of lake trout migration starts, you know, and you can you know, I mean, fishing just gets very, very good, but fish also release very good as well. You know, it's one thing to, to catch fish like this, but uh, to release them and protect the resource. I mean, they're old special fish and, you know, just use care with them, take caution and, you know, you can continue to catch fish like that for a long, long time, but that's a, a great fish. A lot in that, you know, 36 to 39 inch range. I don't know if you've seen a true 40 yet today, but that's fun. Those are, those are cool fish. Oh yeah, he's on you. Got him. <laughs> Got him. Gotta switch spots. That's crazy. <laughs> That's an adrenaline rush, man. Absolute adrenaline rush. It's like you see him on that live scope just turn and they see your bait and it's just an all-out commitment. And without live scope, you know, that obviously still happens, but with it, you can see it, you can experience that. And it's this next level. Absolute next level. This is good, huh? 
It should be a good one. Oh, it's big. Yeah, yeah. Both were huge. Were they? Yep. I suppose after doing this for a while, you get to tell size on the live scope, huh? Yeah, you can get a size reference of what you're dealing with, and and you can go off of schools typically. School of fish is gonna be big fish, or it's gonna be small yeah. fish schooled up. Like traditional 2D sonar, like you can't tell size, right? Yeah, you can't tell size, and probably a little bit by the marks. And then a nice thing about live scope is if there's steep rock up here, your 2D beam hits here and the fish are here, right. you're not gonna mark those fish, whereas 2D is seeing in there. Or live scope or sees live in there. Or live scope yeah. seeing in yeah. there versus the 2D. Yeah. Man, it's just like, hang on, hey? <laughs> One nice part about these Legend Tournament inshores is they have a longer kind of rod butt here so I can kind of put that under my arm and get leverage. Because after a couple minutes, your arm will get tired. Jeepers! That's a freshwater whale. That's a significant fish, buddy. Get it. Boom. That's my biggest of the day. Yep. That's for sure a 20 pound fish. Wow. Wow. Awesome, man. Just the work of, or I mean, just go through the effort of, you know, just like a live scope. <laughs> is that your bait? Oh, that's a fish. Yeah, that is a fish. Another big fish down there. You know, just finding structure, driving over it, utilizing your electronics. You know, I mean, it's. It's kind of changes, you know, if, you know, without this, you know, you'd make tons and tons of casts and catch a few fish and with, you know, with all this technology, you make fewer casts, but you know, you're almost catching a fish every cast or every drop. Oh God. You're going to oh, get the all Oh God. <laughs> Ethan. Oh, you got a screamer. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh he's coming. Got him. Hooked up? Yep. Another one on bottom too. <laughs> Absolute madness. Get in there. There we go. Right. Look at that. Choked. Oh, you already landed yours? Yep. Look at these fish, man. That's a double if I've ever seen one. Wow. Yeah. Giants, buddy. Absolute giants. Look at the thickness on this thing. Crazy. Jigging wow. up. Jigging them up on Incredible. the live scope. Incredible. And... It doesn't get any more fun, man. Watch the chase and eat. You're right. Hang on. <laughs> so cool. So much fun. Let's get them back. Piece of structure. So anything we're looking for is just a you know a change in depth, something that goes from you know for example 120 feet basin up to whatever 110 feet, 80 feet, 60 feet. Like there's just so much so much varying pieces of, of structure out here. Um, but you do need something that that deviates, right? Something that rises above. Ideally, something that's small in nature. If you get too big of a structure, it's like those fish can really be be anywhere but um you know live scope definitely helps you narrow down that uh narrow down that that area so what we do is just put our motor in neutral we or put our motor in, in forward and we're going two to three and a half miles per hour and driving around 
when we find a big congregation of fish. There we we'll, go. Where's that? Here we go. We got fish. You got fish that way? Yep. So Ethan saw it on our, our live scope that's kind of going out. So we're going to turn the boat and we're going to see them on the one that's shooting forward. And then we can cast directly up at them. Yeah, there they are there, hey? 50 feet. 40 feet. Pretty much going to be right under us here soon. There's a couple further. I'll go after the further ones. You go ones. the further ones, I'll try to get the close one. Ideally, we can see our baits drop down. Yeah, look at those guys, eh? There's you going down on those oh. ones. But you know, when we pull up onto a piece of structure, really to, to narrow it down, we're idling around with our big motor. And then when we do find fish, we kill the big motor and, you know, put down the bow mount and use the bow mount. That's a school of them, bud. Yep. You're falling might, right into them. Might happen here. Look at that. Might have got one coming already. That was a perfect cast. You really learned to judge what 50 feet mean. There you go. Beauty. Oh, there's a fish on. How's that one feel? Yes. They're all good, man, right? Yeah. Medium. Medium. What a day. There's your jig. There is mine, yeah. Well, perfectly glass calm. <laughs> right? You can't beat it, man. What a day we've had. Just lake trout after lake trout. Big fish. Catching them jigging. I mean, it's, I don't know. It's up there with some of the coolest stuff you can do in, in fresh water here. Wow. And just seeing them on that live scope is, is so much fun. It's so cool. She ain't happy. Nope. <laughs> there is two. See ya. Two straight ahead. Straight ahead, 100? Yep. We'll see if we can judge 100 feet. Right there. That thunder rumble. Right, you hear that crowd. thunder? I was like, yeah, that's thunder all right, man. She's feisty or she's bigger than I think she is. Oh, there she is. Maybe a little of both. Good <laughs> shot there of it coming up on the Oh yeah, I can see all the air bubbles. Yeah. There we go! Nice work, buddy. That's an there awesome we go. fish. Awesome fish. What a battle, huh? Yep. What a battle. So much fun. Look at that fish, man. Wow. Yeah. What a way to the end of the end of the day. I mean, there's so many solid fish in that 15 to 20 pound range. It's just Look at all the lamprey marks. Every fish has character, every fish tells a story, and they are so special to catch and release. It's fun seeing them swim away, you know. It's, it's fun catching them, but it's even better seeing them swim away, so. Yep, a truly amazing fishery. Nice work, buddy, from Ethan, Joey, and I. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time.